Good morning, fourth grade. It is 4B co-teacher Mr. Romano from Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. It is Monday. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. We have entered teamwork week for our character strength. Now, another name for teamwork is citizenship, which is in the name of our school. You guys wear it on your awesome shirts every single day when you come to class. Now, what does it mean to be part of a team? Now, if you have ever played on a sports team or ever played a game or ever played a video game and been part of a team, please raise your hand. Now, I know I can't see you, but I'm sure at some point in your young lives, you guys have been part of a team, which is amazing because team, team sports are a real good metaphor for life, right? They help build those life skills, build those social skills, and that's what we need. Being part of a team is one of the greatest things that we can do. So, let's get started. Teamwork or citizenship, you work well as a member of a group or team. You are loyal and sacrifice your individual desires for the greater good. Keyword, sacrifice. There is no I in team. Everybody takes a back seat in terms of production. So, the main goal is accomplished. Right, So when you talk about sports, yeah, you could be the best player on your team. You could score the most goals. right? You could be the best athlete. But team sports requires every single person on the field and on that team to work well and work in harmony and synchrony so you can achieve the ultimate goal, which is to win. So I got an awesome little video for you guys, Toy Story. And let's see how they work together as a team. Okay, so Toy Story, great movie. So questions, how do the toys work together? In this video clip, Woody is the only one who can speak. How does their communication affect their ability to show teamwork? What would happen if one of the toys did not play their part? And finally, how did these toys 
sacrifice their individual desire for the greater good. Now, we also talked about citizenship, right? It's in the name of our school. You guys wear it on your patch every day on your uniforms. But let's find out. I love singing my national anthem. And look, my parents are from Serbia. I was born in Australia. I now live in America. But I want to ask you, are you a good citizen? The citizen of the world is someone who understands that this world needs more love. There is so much negativity out there. There is corruption. There are wars. There is violence. There's a lot of stuff out there that gets me scared sometimes. But as I am a good citizen, I want to do all that I can be to make this world a better place and to love my country. To see how I can help my country be the best country it can be. I want to help the poor. I want to help give more opportunities to citizens of my country. I want you to see the amazing gift of committing to being a good citizen. Okay. So, what is citizenship? How is it similar to teamwork? With citizenship, what team are we working for? What can you do to practice citizenship? And finally, the speaker talks about seeing an amazing gift of being a good citizen to his country. What do you think that means? I'd like to end on our little quote. Alone, we can do little. Together, we can do so much. Remember, when you are part of a team, it's not about individual success. It's about can we come together and accomplish that one singular goal? If it's sports, it's to win. If it's schoolwork, it's to get the best grade and do the best job that you possibly can, right? So remember, there is no I in team. I love and miss you guys. I cannot wait to see you back in the classroom. See you tomorrow. Bye.